add someone else one second hi i'm just adding sahana as well she's also a nutritionist so just give me two seconds i'm just gonna add I think Sahana should be here any second. <laughs> Hi, Sahana. Hey, Hi, Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. So, hi guys, thanks all of you for joining us. Hi. Can you see, can you see the thing down, Sahana? I can, I can. Okay, hey, Nanaya. Hi, Hi. thanks. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> okay, so okay, so Sahana, Sahana, and I are first gonna. Just, I'm just gonna tell you what we are gonna be talking about today. So now you know that in this current situation that we're all in isolation and we're all working from home and we're all at home. So Sahana and I thought that we just do like a, a small session and just talking about not just being mindful with your food, but also generally about your thoughts and about your day and about your routine. Right, Sahana? Yep. Um, hi, Pooja. Thank you for having us online. Thank you for having us live today. Hi, Sneha. I think we're just saying hi to each other's friends and followers. <laughs> <we're just going>. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so can you put the fix down so we start talking? Yeah, no, no, yeah. Okay. I'm ready. <laughs> Okay, cool. So um, I think the first and the most like common thing that I'm sure Sahana and I as health coaches and nutritionists have been seeing is that we, a lot of people are kind of doing like a lot of boredom eating. Am I right, Sahana? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just even, even yeah. us for that. Cause yeah. Like, yeah, you know. Yeah, I mean, we are trying to be like good and we are trying to... Um, uh, keep ourselves occupied by doing other such things but we see a lot of people I like many of my clients have messaged me saying uh, listen Meenakshi I'm really bored um, I'm hungry what do I'm you hungry mean? I'm moody I feel like I'm munching going. something yeah and I keep going to my refrigerator or my snack cupboard and keep like getting that food so we just wanted to address this and just talk about um all of this basically so sahana do you want to first tell us like what you've been doing in order to be a good mindful and kind of just like in there yeah so so i think the first week so so i'm from bangalore so we've had this lockdown for like almost two weeks now i think this is our third week if i'm not wrong mm -hmm. so my first one week it just went for a toss like my sleep cycle changed and everything changed and i was just like what's going on and then the whole of the second week i kind of made sure that i kind of came back on track so the, the most important thing is to set a routine like you're sleeping by one then just sleep by one every day don't like extend it to two three four because all of us are awake i don't know why but we're all awake and we're all like on our phones and stuff like that so so and also if you don't if you sleep late then you wake up late and then it's too late during the day to do anything because the sun's out you can't work out it's too hot and then you tend to miss meals and then you're skipping breakfast and then you have the leverage to overeat for lunch then. <laughs> yeah. No help yeah. to skip breakfast, yeah. right? So stuff like yeah. that. So my, my first week was just like chaotic. And then my second week wasn't bad though. So I started waking up. I made sure I woke up before nine and got some sort of workout. Mm -hmm. And then breakfast, lunch, dinner and snacks in between. And I stopped mm -hmm. going to the fridge. I did that a lot because mm -hmm. every time I open, I was just disappointed because there was nothing in there. So I was just like, true, true, true. Yeah. 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 I think for me also, like the first week or the first five Thought days, it was just see like, boredom snacks happening right now. Sorry? Nothing, nothing. Go on. Yeah. So I feel like the first week was there was a lot of like just like unknown, right? We're all sitting at home. We're all used to a routine. We're all used to waking up, showering and stuff like that. And then suddenly it just became kind of very like, you know, let me, like we're on like vacation. You know what I mean? We're just like, okay, fine. Let's just chill. We have yeah. nothing to do. We, have, we don't have to wake up and, you know, go to the gym or go there. So nothing. Everything is just like closed. So the first yeah. five days or one week was just about acclimatizing to whatever we are in right That's now. That's very true. But yeah. I think now I'm like, totally in the groove I've been waking up on time I've been sleeping at midnight even though I'm usually sleeping earlier but I've been waking up at midnight I've been yoga yeah. I do the meditation 
and then i do my lunch breakfast dinner i do a small snack mm-hmm. but also with like the food resources and stuff we can't like pressurize ourselves into doing certain things that we used to be able to because not everything is available all the time and sh- and mm-hmm. places are shut so i think like i want to i want to talk about three things that's actually been like helping um me keep like with my routine mm-hmm. with like keep like, you know in this whole period of isolation the first mm-hmm. one is sticking to routine i realize like that is a very important yeah. thing and sticking yeah, to routine too. has really helped me like just like keep my you know my state of mind give it like a kind of purpose instead of just like very aimless that's one yeah. second mm-hmm. is i i mean as but as nutrition is both of us i think we're wired to just automatically like try to grab the right choice True. 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 i mean obviously yeah, that comes really naturally now and then. Yeah, yeah. yeah it comes really naturally for us yeah. right we were talking about this yesterday as well that we're yeah. wired yeah. in such a way where we will try to always pick the cleaner option so even with clients and people i've been telling everyone just pick the cleaner option it both may be like not so clean but just try to pick the cleaner option and the third one is i've just been like being very like mindful and like really trying to stay positive in all of this period and not thinking like what if what uh what about this what about that you know those mm-hmm. thoughts don't help and i the more you think like that the more you feed the worry and the kind of thing yeah. so it's just been mm-hmm. being positive it's feeding that state mm-hmm. of uh positive but those are three things that i've been doing and it's been doing and i've it's been working really well for me and i've been like mm-hmm. um sort of telling everyone to like do the same and you know feel good as well mm-hmm. um So with me yeah. is that yeah the routine thing was really important so yeah. i made sure that as well and then the second thing is eating clean like you said so the third thing is that like if I, i've just told myself that i'm not going to eat beyond 8 pm i am not eating beyond 8 pm yeah. i could be sitting yeah. on something on netflix yeah. but then i i don't need like drink water cuz yeah. the minute i start snacking and then i don't think i'll stop so you know yeah. so <laughs> Yeah. You know I would be snacking something healthy but then they also have calories at the end of the day. Yeah. Right? For sure. It's like added calories so, to the whole day yeah. is added calories. Yeah. Yeah. And you yeah. just sitting but, what have been moving here. Yeah. Ah, was so sedentary, right? I mean yeah. I actually try to work out at least 5 times a week because I was slacking in the last 2 months so I've been using this time to sort of just like doing some mm-hmm. home aerobic some floor exercise all of that and I've been feeling so good doing all of that. Um mm-hmm. Sorry, I'm just going to answer this question. We have this question says that I have a question. I usually end up skipping breakfast but make sure that my lunch and dinner are calorie content. Is that okay? Okay. So as Sahana was just saying, a lot of us have been waking up late and skipping breakfast. Okay, so here's the thing with uh skipping a meal. It's not just about skipping a meal. Obviously, if you have like high sugar and other such conditions, then you should have to think about whether you're doing it. But more importantly, for me, it's just when whenever a person skips a meal, it also means it is skipping nutrients. So if you get all your nutrients in two meals plus a small snack, then that's perfectly fine, and you equalize fine, them in terms yeah. of calories. But if you're not, then it just means you're skipping nutrients, and nutrients are essential for the body to function, um, you know, normally or properly. Yeah. 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 So so Nana ya what if you need more info he's my friend so if you need more info just oh. text me I'll kind of help you out to tell me what you're eating and then I'll let you know if you're getting all your nutrients in Perfect There's also another question before that came in from uh, Mansha Yeah okay. so she said she's desperately trying to lose weight but I don't know where to start with my diet so get in touch with Meenakshi or me and we'll yeah, definitely get in touch with you Yeah, yeah yeah because for us to just tell you without knowing what's going on in your life is very difficult we won't be able to tell you what you exactly need so if you text yeah. one of us we'll definitely like um get it more personalized and help you guys help you better basically yeah and also yeah. tips are so 2000 guys like don't don't do that because it's it's customized i agree okay, i so agree yeah. like basic things help. like yeah drink water is something that we can say but yeah. like specifically for you to lose weight and for you to a uh, weight management or something is too generic for us to just say drink lemon water yeah. every day and you will have make yeah. sure your weight man <laughs> this, this doesn't like happen anymore ritika is here you remember ritika from qua yeah of course she's here yeah she'll yeah, she's join my friend coach dot in yeah i shall pa <laughs> um You're welcome. So, so what kind? So what kind of workouts are you doing? You know, like you doing? Do so basically, um, I'm doing cardio, and I do at mm-hmm. least 25 minutes to 30 minutes of cardio. I was actually going through some old videos of Jane Fonda and stuff. I do that. Otherwise, mm-hmm. I do some um, HIIT kind of workout, and I do floor mm-hmm. exercises. But I do hundred skips almost every single day, so that I get some. Okay. Sort of, and I dance yeah. all the time by myself. 
ஒர்க்கிங் <laughs> fried trans fat blah mm. blah i think that's mm. like a very like easy tip to follow so even if you do end up eating something that's actually like value adding to your diet versus something that's not it just still means you're getting something out of it even those extra yeah. excess, excessive calories yeah. Yeah. yeah so that's yeah. something that i wanted to say um mm. yeah sahana do you want to like add a tip to that yeah so my point is actually one of the questions that pooja shrini vas rajas asked pooja is asking us yeah. yeah so how do we control false hunger so i think sometimes like our body tends to get confused between thirst and hunger so whenever yeah. you get hungry whenever you feel the need to like munch on something drink at least like two glasses of water and water. see yeah. if you still want to like eat something or you're good with water yeah. so that is one yeah. of the ways to find out if it's false yeah. hunger or Yeah. yeah also another thing is like don't like a lot now especially since we're home there's a lot of confusion between your appetite and between actually what you require like yeah. everybody has different appetites like you may have a different appetite and i may have like yours may be bigger or mine may be bigger yours may be smaller mine may be smaller that doesn't matter you can't mm-hmm. keep feeding into that thing which is asking you so if you're actually hungry just eat and if you're not that's where routine actually plays an important role if you say yeah. like okay listen like breakfast is at 9 o'clock lunch is at 1 o'clock like i can munch on something at 5 and dinner yeah. by 8 like just yeah. train rewire train, train your brain to mm-hmm. just stick to those timings versus just randomly like sort of you know thing yeah that's why yeah i think just once you get the routine in place and i think everything will just like fall in place like naturally yeah I agree I agree like routine has been especially like like as we were just saying like in the first 5 days we had no routine and that's why we were just aimlessly <laughs> just like yeah. don't uh, know what to do yeah. Yeah. yeah and then once the routine started happening i think everything like it just automatically like kind of got better mm-hmm. yeah that's true. yeah hi guys hi hi thanks for joining in hey shruti hey deba hey brandon so many of my friends are coming i wonder yeah. who want to ask me questions <laughs> Guys ask us questions guys that's what we're here hey, to do. Please ask us questions if not we'll keep talking we can speak. We can keep talking but we really want to address certain questions if anyone yeah. has. So um Shanti. actually an- another question that I get uh that I've been getting a lot um from my clients or like active clients at the moment mm-hmm. it's it's more about the fact that um they actually they don't know exactly what like okay so for example now you're less active than before so they are not able to tell where they can cut down you understand mm, what i'm saying yes, so for yes. example if i used to if i if i if i tell told them to have like three meals and one small meal or whatever it is now when they're like listen i am genuinely i'm less active and i'm and i'm thing and i want to actually focus mm. on this whole thing properly and start doing it better they are not sure where to cut or how to cut So as I was just saying before like cutting down is fine as long as you meet your needs in terms of all your nutrients. So that is actually something that's very important. Yes, yeah, absolutely. And then also um a lot of people ask us is it um I've run out of wheat flour can I eat rice is that okay will yeah, it be fat? Yeah. And yeah, all of that. Yeah. So so, yeah. so what I so so everyone who has that mind block could things like rice will make you fat or something yeah, like you know it doesn't fun. make you it it won't so if you've run out of atta then you have to eat rice because you need yeah. to eat it, okay but you just have to like try to portion it out that's the most portion important portion it out yeah so mm-hmm. so switching carbs will not really like hinder any sort of and will not stall your uh, progress yeah. basically it's just different yeah. nutrients from different uh, carb sources you're getting that's yeah. about it yeah 
Yeah, so that is one of the questions I asked as well. I I got as well from my clients. Yeah. Mm. I stay up late and routine has changed, so end up having dinner extremely late and go to bed within one to two hours. Um, I mean, isn't it better to just have like an earlier dinner? Like I get you staying up late, so you end up becoming hungry. But as Sahana was saying, if you just in your mind you're saying like after eight o'clock I'm definitely not going to eat, and just keep like loading up on water or something that would be better or some a small snack. I mean, I am not a big personally. I'm not a big fan of eating and then sleeping right after that. I don't feel very like good. I generally have my routine of cumin water, turmeric water, and all of that goes on, and then only after that I actually um, go to bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, Sahana. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 what, what else? What are you doing anything differently in terms of nutrition right now? Like you said, obviously we're not as active. So, what are the stuff that yeah. you are cutting from your? Um, I've actually not been eating. Uh, no, I'm eating normally, but mm -hmm. if I wake up a little later or I end up eating later at night, say for example, I've mm -hmm. eaten dinner, but I'm up till two a.m. and I end up having a small snack. The next mm -hmm. day, I'll make up for it with um, with in either one meal. But I don't. I never completely like. I don't generally avoid unless I'm doing mm -hmm. intermittent fasting. Then I'll avoid a meal like breakfast yeah. most probably but otherwise i don't generally like avoid me because i my stomach starts grumbling also yeah. i'm very particular on like uh, right now i've been like taking probiotic and i've been taking like um, vitamin c and those other supplements mm -hmm. and i generally do that in the morning post breakfast yeah yeah so yeah. yeah so i i i i am kind of like on an intermittent fast almost on a daily basis but uh -huh. then that's good i yeah but but then i don't know like um last yesterday i felt like really like low on energy for some reason i don't know why mm. so so i thought like i'll stay off it for a while and then get back oh, no. i don't know why that happened or have you faced something like that no i haven't i'm quite used to like intermittent fasting i do it quite regularly in, like yeah even i do it but yesterday i think it was just one of those days that i felt like really tired so i did have breakfast today but then i'm trying uh. to get back up but that happens you know a lot of the times when you don't have, when you don't eat breakfast or when people are going on intermittent fasting they actually mm -hmm. do get tired and it's okay you just break it you break the cycle and then you just get back to it after whenever you get back to it yeah. it yeah um so, what options do you suggest for snacking apart from fruits and nuts actually you know pooja today i put up this post on my instagram and i gave people like a whole bunch of snacking options that i i've been doing in the last two weeks yeah, i've actually I like saw um, you saw that right yeah i've been like rummaging and i finally found So basically, there's like lentils, which is like sundal. There's puffed snacks like puffed rice, puff makana, puffed millets. A whole bunch of puffed snacks I have. Then there's fruit and nuts, of course. Then I do like a half a small uh, half a half a sweet potato or regular potato with skin. I do veggie sticks. I do yeah, uh, gluten-free bread. What else do you do, Sahana? Roasted uh, channa. Yeah. So, so I I have this dark chocolate granola. Dark chocolate. So I just like, take a handful, put it on yogurt, and just eat. and just have it. Yeah, and I got a whole bunch of bars from like um, these these companies. Rhine. But, but yeah. yeah, Rhine, and I got tum. Yeah, what is a flat tummy? So I just flat do like tummy. half a. Yeah, I do half or like one third of a bar, and I'm totally yeah. fine with that as a snacking option. It's just that because we're really like at home, our, our mind is going towards food. But otherwise, like, if you just keep yourself occupied. Talk to your friends. Watch an interesting documentary. Read. Um, I don't know. Just like meditate, exercise. If you're constantly like keeping a bit active, and it's it's totally fine to also not be active. Okay, like guys, this yeah. is some time mm -hmm. that we're not gonna get back. But we're getting this much of time like off. And this is like I've been saying it again and again. It's a great time to rest and recover your body, especially for those who have not had good sleep, who've been constantly working and traveling. It's an amazing time to just like rest and recover and like sort of rewire your entire body. So it's it's a good thing. Use it as like yeah, use it wisely, basically. Yeah. So I was telling my brother the same thing too. He's an engineer and he's like pretty much working round the clock all the time. Then. Yeah, so so he's even even when he's at home, he's just like I've never been at home, and I'm like it's good just like recover. Yeah. Why are you stressing about that? You're at home, yeah. you're getting yeah. to eat on time. I don't think you really need to stress. So yeah, so that's that's a very good point. That consider this as a blessing because we don't know if we're gonna get this 
time back and we don't this, have things to do in yeah, three hours. Yeah, these many yeah. days as well. Mm-hmm. I know it's also like a, like frustrating that you're at home and stuff, but it's mm-hmm. okay though. Like, you know, I'm spending more time with my family. I mean, we do get into occasional fights, but yeah. I am spending <laughs> more time with family and my grandparents and like, like I go and see them every day versus like once a week and stuff like that. So it's mm-hmm. like, it's been really good. So the one thing that I have been constantly checking is my screen time. I do feel like my eyes are a bit strained because I'm always on my phone or laptop. Yeah. So we were just talking about this, right, Sahana? Like yeah, Sahana's but... screen time is like 11 hours or something. <laughs> there, is, <laughs> there is an app to blame. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, the house party and other such apps. So I have actually very consciously not getting into Sahana's time zone, time <laughs> range. I've been trying to like not be on my phone too much, but um, I mean, I'm trying. And uh, yeah, so I play like cards with my with my family. We do like a two hour session in the evenings. And I'm constantly in touch with my friends. Actually, my friends are totally like, um, they're, they're like lifesavers at this point of time. Yeah, nice. And, they so, and they're positive influences on us as well. That's very true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Does anybody have any questions out there? We're here to answer any questions you guys have. Are you able to keep your family in check, Sahana, with their eating and monitoring their eating? I, I'm just like away from them for a while. <laughs> because <laughs> because it's like, I cannot do this. Yeah, but, but yeah, because but it's like a daily practice for me. So I yeah. always look at my mom's plate and I'm like, why are you eating this? Why are you eating yeah, this? He gets yeah. annoyed. But, yeah. yeah. You know, actually, but, but my a lot family has improved. Um, at home, though, like from a lot of improvement. Yeah, that's good, dude. Because yeah. they must be like looking at you and like understanding that. Yeah, yeah. You know, the the the, the other day, like my mom would just come up to me and she's like, "I've done this. I've added that because it has vitamin K, vitamin C in it." And I right. saw this, and I'm like, "Okay, then you should have been the nutritionist." I'm mm. like, yeah. So, so, so they're also doing it because obviously I'm influencing them at home, and I'm constantly telling them, "Don't eat this. Don't do this. Don't do this. Yeah, don't do yeah. this. Or eat this. Eat this, and stuff like that." So yeah. 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 But guys, listen, like everyone out there, there's no pressure. Please don't stress yourself. No out pressure with at all. Yeah. 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 There's absolutely no pressure. Just do whatever you can do and with what, within whatever means. And it's like, you don't have to be fancy and have turmeric shots and this and that. Just yeah. whatever you can, guys. That, and that's, yeah. that's what, like, like, basically we're trying to say just like, um, just, yeah, basically make an effort. That's all that actually matters. Make an and honestly, effort and- yeah, sorry. And? I said, if it doesn't happen, it's fine. Like, don't be yeah, too hard on yourself. Just try again. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And all of this just like leads to like, uh, it's it's a sort of like a healing process that we're all going through as well. And uh, I mean, you know, my family actually, everyone's pretty like conscious and mindful about what they eat. And now that my father has more time, he's actually been like working out twice a day. I mean, not like excessively, but just like, he does his stretches in the morning in half an hour of that and then he works out and, the, and I'm just looking at that and I'm like very happy that he's taking putting in this effort yeah, too because yeah, yeah. they're all like over like 55 and stuff so like I'm always mm-hmm. like I hope my parents are fine and I hope they're taking care of themselves and it's so nice to see that they are and um, it's good and my brother all of them everyone's being very like mindful yeah. and as a family we're all like influencing each other in a way that's true that, yeah. yeah that's that's good okay mm-hmm. someone so Marsha yeah, Sorry, yeah, you were saying? So even even my family, so we all pretty much like work out during the same time. That's so, nice. So we all go to our terrace and then we, like I do my stuff, they do their own stuff. Yeah, so, yeah. So, so we all like work out together. At least, like, That's it's not really together, good. But, like, but then I at least see my brother working out and I'm just like, okay, I have to yeah. work out as well. And then I just go quietly work out and go. Yeah. Having this desperate need to do something about my weight, it's hard to maintain good relationship with food as well. And what I work on my mindset. Mm, it's very interesting. Even and has an interesting uh, question. What is Putin saying? Every time I get on a diet or make a slight change in my diet routine, takes toll on my mood. I tend to always be grumpy. Why is that so? Pooja, from my experience, <laughs> what I would say is, um, I mean, I'm not a big, I'm not a big fan of the word diet, and neither is Sahana. We've discussed this yeah. many times. Yeah. Like when you're actually on, um, not a diet, but on a good eating pattern and routine, you feel exactly the opposite. Your moods are good. You're not at all grumpy. You're super energetic. You have like all these positive um, sort yeah. of vibes. You are feeling like on top of the world. So there's just something that maybe you need to do in order to 
get there versus that because maybe you're being too restrictive or maybe you're being too hard on yourself or maybe yeah. you have expectations in your head and it's not translating to your body it could be a number yeah. of things to be honest yeah. 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 uh do you want to take mansha's question sahana mm -hmm. talk about mental health and mindset yeah so 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 you what you can do is um first you need to have a good relationship with food okay so if there's if there's anything that is bothering you try and address why that is happening in case yeah. you're eat, eating and eating a cup of ice cream is making you happy then why is it making you happy then why isn't something else not making you happy so you need to um really work work on the relationship with the food that you're eating so i think that is more important you need you need to have like a good relationship with food so even if you're eating something that is not so healthy when you know you're going to eat it and burn it off the next day you're not going to feel guilty about it so now if i yeah. eat something really unhealthy i'm not going to beat myself too hard saying like oh my god i ate it oh my god i'm going like oh my god i'm going to gain weight my this and that so i'm not going to i'm not going to react in such a way because i have a good relationship with food i'm just going to make sure that i burn burn that off the next day or not repeat it or not continuously eat the same kind of food again That's so true. so yeah. you definitely need to work um with your relationship i mean work work on the relationship with your food so that's yeah. what you need to be doing man yeah and you know like a lot of the times when you do reach for that ice cream or you do reach for that as much as you think it's a reward you actually end up not liking it the next minute or the next day so the point okay. is you need to go and actually find the source for why you're eating the ice cream versus just eating mm. the ice cream. like if something is yeah. frustrating you or irritating you i go and understand the source that's what i always tell my clients go and like understand the source of why it's irritating you versus just channeling that energy towards um towards the ice cream so if you actually like understand the source and find the source you will you know how to channel that energy that you have whether it's negative or positive energy you'll actually know how to channel it so yeah. you should do that and definitely it will help yeah. yes uh, narish you can question us here <laughs> I just read it as N A dot Rish, so I was like Narish. Also, I think um, One Life NGO can really help you out with that. In case if you want to get better in terms of uh, yes, mental your, health, your food and mental health, and why you feel about it, and why you feel about food a certain way, I'm sure she'll be really, she 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 she'd be the best person to definitely like help in terms of the way you think. And yeah. then we'll help you in terms of how to eat post that. So yeah, that's true. That's true. You can hit us up any time. Sahana dash of nourishment. Yeah, Twelve hour screen time. I'm always on my phone. <laughs> yeah, I remember she's always on her phone. And I am me now. Actually, you guys can hit us up any time you want. Thank you. Um, and we're always here to help anybody who has questions about yeah health food anything at all. Food. It could. It don't 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 hesitate thinking it could be really stupid. It's yeah. Stupid questions are the life changing ones to be really. Exactly. I totally agree. The stupid questions are sometimes the simplest, and the answer to all of all of your problem. What to think while meditating? Do you think meditation or yoga works for depression or overthinking? Um. I know. I, I can. I can talk about the meditation one. I'm. I. I try to meditate almost every day. so the point of meditation actually speaking okay not the point but one of the many points of meditation is to just watch what you're thinking so now when you meditate you can watch whether you're thinking positive thoughts or negative thoughts but the mind is so jumpy it jumps like from okay suddenly you'll be like oh my god i didn't wash my car oh my god i have to eat this food oh my god like you don't even know how your mind jumps so what you need to do is you just need to watch what you're think watch the the loop watch what you're thinking once you watch it then you can start i wouldn't say change it but then you can start slowly changing the loop of the conversation so if you're constantly having a negative loop try to put one positive thought in there and then try to loop the positive thoughts and then eventually that positive thoughts will keep looping so meditation like i you shouldn't be genuinely you shouldn't be thinking in meditation but try to watch what you're thinking and focus on the watching what you're thinking versus just thinking thoughts and it takes a lot of practice and time like all of us like just don't meditate in one second and we're like done we're, we're done with it no it takes a lot of time and sometimes focusing on like a, a mantra helps actually remove all the other thoughts and focus on just like an om or a whatever and then you can take it from there um 
and both i think both meditation and yoga can help with depression and overthinking because yoga works right from breathing and that's the best way to just like release anything out and meditation as i said it, this is what it does yeah according to me at least so pooja has another question uh, she okay. says what you say on eating disorder have you addressed this with your clients so so i wouldn't say an eating disorder as such but a client of mine was addicted to sugar in the form of aerated drinks and uh, chocolates so it it was just very difficult for her to not eat like not stop herself from eating it at least like uh, two three bars a day or one entire can of coke or two cans of uh, aerated drinks a day and what that led to was she um, she couldn't put on weight I mean, she was she was underweight, so she started eating things that were like really uh, calorie dense, assuming she will actually put on weight, which had a lot of sugar, right? But then actually it didn't work in her favor. She never put on weight, which also affected her uh, period cycle. So she also didn't get her periods. So didn't put on weight, like kind of uh, her entire period cycle got messed up. And then uh, and then she got in touch with me, and I said, listen, you need to kick this out. and then the next month she got her periods and she gained weight mm. yeah yeah so yeah so eating disorders yeah they do happen again with like everything else with any other something that's like mental concern or anything it's all it's all in the mind even an eating disorder yeah. i've seen like a lot of like when especially when girls start young it's mostly because like you know they see like tv they see movies they see social media accounts and they're like i want to be like that or i want to be something like that i want to look skinny mm-hmm. i want to do so it's so like it's it's like to do that or to look like that or to want to be like that they end up hurting themselves unknowingly a lot of the times so or sometimes parents are very hard on children as well i have i've noticed that a lot parents can be very hard on children and always and you know make them look or act a certain way yeah. that could also uh, lead to an eating disorder mm-hmm. and also when when you're not when you know it it's it's so it i feel like it's so subjective and it's dependent on family friend uh, personal kind of relationships and that's when people get into eating disorders so mm-hmm. if um you know if parents out there actually see their kids uh doing something like that you should definitely educate your children and tell them to um you know like help them get better and if adults are doing the same thing you guys need to know that you know just accept who you are and then try to be something you want to be first yeah. part of life and yeah. all of it is acceptance so john b has another question how do i motivate myself exercising as i have pretty much a busy schedule for my day and i wake up early at 6 so can you please tell me about the same you know actually i don't i i'm a big believer of uh you know i like i don't have time for myself or i have a busy like i always feel you have to fit certain basic necessities into your life the motivation part you need to figure out a way to push yourself or just make a habit like somehow just say for 10 days i will exercise no matter what storm rain snow whatever it is and then after that you get that endorphin rush and i think automatically you just want to exercise yeah. right yeah. so yeah, i i also believe that you are your own motivation i can tell you like you know what work out work out yeah yeah you don't yeah. feel some within you're not going yeah. to move yeah yeah we can remind you and we can inspire you but uh you have to like it has to come from you right so devas asking i need to gain some muscles what food to include me you want to take that food for muscle is sahana Brody, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's like so ingrained in our brain. So, guys, yeah. as you, if you didn't understand what we said, we I just said food for muscle is, and she said, Brody, yes. So you basically need to get uh, uh, incorporate uh, muscle for protein rich foods, and also need to know when to eat your protein rich foods, and also the kind of workout you do needs to pump your um, muscles, but also know. that if you have a lot of body fat and you're building muscle over that it might be a little bit difficult for you to actually gain that muscle as much as you want uh because your body fat will just be accumulating on it or under it or whatever so first first 
um, thing of business is to get rid of the body excessive body fat and then build and muscle. Then, yeah. yeah. Someone says, "Don't forget to hydrate." Action. Ha, yeah. No, we will. <laughs> sorry, Sahana. What were you saying? It's also important. I forgot. Sorry, sorry. I you just saw that. I said, "That was like hydrate." Yeah, yeah. That's okay. No problem. Yeah. A packaged flavored yogurt, a good option to snack on. So, Hana, you want to take it? Yeah. Hi, Vaishaka. She's my friend as well. So, so it's it's all right. It's just that the uh, the epigamia things that you get, they have a lot of sugar in it. So, what you can do is this is what I do. That I mix half and half, like the unsweetened and the flavored one. So, I mix like half of the flavored one and half of the uh, unflavored one. So, it is still very sweet, even if you like add. uh the only half of one flavor so you could probably do that but it it is a good option yeah i mean you could do it at this time if you don't have anything but then on a daily basis no i wouldn't suggest not a very good option yeah i would rather just like buy like on a regular basis i just take like plain yogurt and add some fruit to yeah. it or like and if i want something sweet like just like a quarter or half a teaspoon of honey or something other than actually honey, yeah. or even like quarter half teaspoon coconut sugar or something because compared mm-hmm. to that pack Has tons of sugar. How much is a hundred yeah. gram bag? Have twelve grams. Twelve gram. grams. Twelve, yeah. yeah, twelve grams. That's like, that's quite. That's on the higher side. Yeah. Okay. Um. Okay. So I think we are. Um. Thank you. Thank you, Deba. Thank you. I think we are done for the day. So um, Thanks, you guys want to hit us up anytime? I am nutritionist dot Meenakshi, and she is dash of nourishment. Feel free to hit us up anytime if you mm-hmm. have any questions. and um i'm just going to end this by saying stay safe 